And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create somewhat of an X-ray effect. It's going to get complex when you have lots of camera movement, head movement. To show the principle, I'm going to cut this clip here short so that we don't waste so much time on the repetitive work. The principle that I'm going to show you works on this one. It also works on complex clips. All you have to do is to copy the one that you've got, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Then add an adjustment. Make sure the adjustment is selected and then go to curves and invert all of your curves. You can make this a bit bigger so that you can see both points of every curve. You have to do that for all channels, so for brightness, luma, and then RGB. Once that is done, you can import an image or let me just search for a sticker. I believe there's a skull. This one here, we can use that. So you want to have kind of like a skeleton effect. This one's not perfect because it has an inbuilt animation but it will do for our effect in this tutorial. Position it below the adjustment. This changes the color and then size it down and rotate it a little bit so that it fits the footage. So make sure the eyes are correctly positioned. And you can see we have had movement, so I will have to animate the movement of this one. But first let's get this animation fixed a little bit in the beginning. I uncheck this option right here. That way I can leave a gap to the left. And now I resize only the skull sticker. So the animation is now outside of our footage. You can work with that. I go to start of the footage. And then I reposition the skull. As I've said, check for the eyes. And I can directly add the keyframes for rotation and position. And now I go over this. You can use the arrow keys to the right. Or just use the slider in the timeline and then rotate it properly, position it properly. Depending on what you've got, you also have to add an animation for the scaling to size it up and down. It's on the right above position and rotate. Just click on this diamond icon for that as well. I don't have to do it here. Once you've got that done, left click drag and select everything but the lowest footage, so our original, then right click create compound clip. So now we have the original and our compound clip with all of the adjustments. Go to the start point of the original, use your split tool and then you can get rid of the first part. And this at least gets rid of the starting animation, so our skull starts here. It gets animated every, what is it, two seconds. So we have to live with that if we want to use that sticker. Now to add this X-ray mask, we'll select the compound clip and go to mask. Let me check. The best is to use the rectangle and then create an animation for this. We only need to animate the position. So make sure you are at the start, fully to the left right here. Click on the diamond icon to start the animation. Move the slider, reposition this rectangle mask. Repeat until you've reached the end of your clip. Let me play it. 
and now we've got this moving x-ray animation. As I've said, you can also use images for the skull skeleton effect. If you find a good one, simply import it. But this is the process to create this x-ray effect. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.